For this experiment, you will need a voltmeter, an ampermeter, a stand, two ring clamps, a previously weighed platinum cathode, a platinum anode, two black to banana alligator cords, two red banana to alligator cords, and solution. Plug one red banana cord into the voltmeter leaving the alligator end free. Plug the one black banana cord into the voltmeter leaving the alligator end free. Then plug the red banana conductor into the ampermeter leaving the alligator end free. And plug the black banana conductor into the ampermeter leaving the alligator end free. Attach the black alligator clip from the voltmeter to the black banana plug on the ampermeter. Then plug the red banana alligator clip from the voltmeter to the red banana plug on the ampermeter. Using one of the clamps, attach the platinum cathode onto the stand and place it in the center of the beaker with the solution. Attach the platinum anode onto the stand using the other clamp and lower it into the beaker containing the cathode and solution, ensuring that they do not touch and the anode is in the center of the cathode. Plug in the ampermeter and the voltmeter to the nearest power supply. Turn on the voltmeter and turn on the ampermeter allowing it to level off. Using the remaining red alligator clip from the ampermeter, attach it to the anode. And using the remaining black alligator clip from the ampermeter, attach it to the cathode. A small spark may occur when attaching to the cathode. Bubbles should be produced at the anode flowing to the cathode. If the wires are switched, this flow would be reversed. As the experiment progresses, a visible color change will be seen on the cathode. When the experiment is complete, unclip the black banana cord from the cathode and carefully remove from the solution.